Hey Kelly Kitties and welcome. So I'm going to be discussing about cosplay competitions. Now, I was fortunate enough to judge two events so far. This does not make me a professional cosplay judge. I just, these are the sort of hiccups that I found and I just, I want to share it with you guys. Because sharing is caring. So basically, um, what I found is that we should actually submit more than one reference picture. I feel we limit ourselves with only one picture and my logic is that the more variety you have the more that you know you are going to base it on the character so I'll take example from my Monster Hunter cosplay when I submitted my entry for icon I had a front back and I had the weapon photo on its side as well so that they could get a view of the whole outfit in the whole next thing Guys, I'm not hating, I'm just trying to share this because I feel that we should bring this rule back into the country. If you have placed in a cosplay competition with that cosplay, you're not allowed to rewear it into a proper cosplay competition. Next point, don't make your cosplay personal. You are there to cosplay that character. So anything that is personal to you, please do not mention. So, I was told in the past when I was entering in a cosplay competition not to state the faults of my cosplay. And I actually agree with that. I mean, you're there to express what you've done, what you've made, how you found something, this and that. So just only put the positive. Also, on a side note, do not say any spoilers. There was someone that told me a spoiler that I'm still watching of a series and I was like, ah, I'm not that far. Other thing is, with your reference picture, I'm going back to that point, make sure you look exactly like that. Guys, you've already got 90% of your outfit done. You can just go that 10 extra percent. I mean, there was someone that I thought was so amazing, I absolutely loved the outfit, but they haven't done shoes. And I was just like... <sighs> and also, guys, don't be shy. Seriously, don't be shy. I know it is so stressful when you see those judges. And then, my last note is if you see a new cosplayer new cosplayer you've never seen this person and I know I know our community is kind of small we kind of know just kind of like encourage them we had someone that came to our table that did not know what they had to do and it's a little bit uncomfortable because they're like hi and you're like hi and they're like hi and then they're like what am I meant to do uh, so let's just try and cancel that sort of awkwardness, be more open to, especially cos cosplayers, I'm, I'm staying that there, because everyone was a newbie, we all did our first cosplay from our closet journey, and I really feel that it's a little bit unfair for people that buy their cosplays as well, and they can't enter into a competition. We should try and focus on having two divisions that is acceptable to that. So. I'm just going to state this, there is a casual cosplay competition that's happening this Saturday. Um, it's actually by Delta Park in Johannesburg. And I am judging, again, with two other awesome cosplayers. It is a casual event, as said again, so if you have placed in a cosplay competition with that outfit and you want to rewear that outfit, you can do that. I Seriously, I want to see everyone's awesomeness. It is also for good cause. So, I will have a link down below of the actual event itself. I hope to see you there. And yeah, keep on being awesome and keep on cosplaying, Kelly Kitties. Bye! Look how fluffy I am. I'm so fluffy. Fluff. Say hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Let me just.